Love you, Shazzy. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing pretty well. I, myself, I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain. I have an unboxing to bring you guys. This is coming all the way from London. I have a friend out there. He goes by the name of Shazad. I'm just kidding. His name's Shazzy. Massive shout outs to you, you little dickhead. Love you to death, brother. This is coming all the way from Nike in London. We are going to crack this box open, but before we get into this, I want to tell you guys to be sure to follow me on Instagram. My username is the exact same as it is here on YouTube. It is at xchasebaccini. I will leave a link in the description down below, and you can also follow my finger to right about here, where on the screen it's going to say at xchasebaccini. You can follow the name on the screen. You can follow the link in the description either way. If you want to keep up to date with what I'm doing long before it shows up in your subscription feed here on YouTube, be sure to give me a follow. Massive shout out to my guys over at Sneaker Sauce, keeping my identity private. Like I said, just my address. Uh, obviously, you got in Australia, not a big deal. Uh, but pretty much just says two chase minutes. I'm just going to shut up. You guys probably hate my unboxings because there's way more talking than there is unboxing. Let's crack this bad boy open. Here we go. Not too bad. I'm going to cut my shoulder open if I do it that way. Be the first person on YouTube, well probably not the first person on YouTube who's ever cut themselves open, but probably the first sneaker related YouTube channel that has cut themselves open. Wouldn't surprise me in the bit if I do that one day because I have a history of cutting myself with box cutters. Alright, the box is now almost open. Shezzy! Alright, so we got the box open, we're gonna crack it open. What is this? We have a, looks like a magazine, let's, I don't know. I don't know, we got a... Superfly 4 here. It looks like a... Oh, hectic, no way. Got a Marvin the Martian poster. Shezzy, man, you were going above and beyond. I'm not sure if this came with the shoes or if you're just sending this to me to be a uh, nice guy, but I really, really appreciate the little poster that you sent in here with this pair of shoes. Marvin the Martian, one of the best Looney Tune characters there is. You can't argue me that. If you want to argue with me that there's no better Looney Tune than Marvin the Martian, then you're wrong. You're wrong. All right, we have that brand new 2015 Air Jordan box. This is my first new black and gold Air Jordan box. I have not really been picking up shoes lately, but on the size tag, we have a size 11 Air Jordan 7 Retro. I'm a little bit late on this one, but you know what they say, better late than never. <laughs> So let's see what we have inside. Oh, we have a chocolate orange. You are, you're hectic, Shezzy. That's awesome. We have these over here in Australia as well, but I'm never going to turn down a chocolate orange. If you guys don't like chocolate oranges, again, you're wrong. You're just absolutely wrong. Massive shout out to you, man. I really appreciate little things like this. This is so cool. Gotta love it, man. Shezzy, you're an absolute legend, bro. All right, we got that nice 23 paper. And what do we have here? The Hair 7s. To be completely honest, I had full intentions of selling this because when I bought it from Shezzy in London, the conversion rate from Australian dollar to pounds is completely shocking. But the reason why I was gonna sell it is just to get my money back because like right now I just can't really afford, it was, it was pretty much $350 with the conversion rate, which was retail. That was retail, I paid, like European retail for these and it cost me about 350 Australian dollars. I just got my tax return. I had the money. I'm an idiot when it comes to I just blow the money. I'm just gonna shut up. But the quality on these are actually really, really nice. I don't think I'm going to be selling these to be totally honest with you. That leather is so soft. The fabric on the tongue is just so nice. It's like, I don't know, it feels kind of like a polyester. But I'm, I'm just going to ignore that because the leather right here on this side panel is just complete butter. I honestly hate when people call leather butter. I don't know why I just did that. I am becoming a hype beast. I am I'm so upset with myself that I just called this leather but it's fucking butter, bro. Shezzy told me about this, my friend that sent me the shoes. He told me that when you actually feel the quality of this leather, you might change your mind. Wow, I gotta say that this shoe right here is actually extremely dope. And another thing that I noticed about this shoe that I actually really like, and I'm gonna sound like a complete hype beast right now, but on my 
every other one of my Jordan retros from like 2001 and beyond, there's a Jumpman on the insole. But I'm not 100% sure if you're going to be able to see it. I will get it in focus as best as I can. But there's actually a Nike Air logo on the insole there. I'm having a hard time getting this in focus. You can kind of see it, but that is an awesome touch for people that have actual fond memories of Jordan Retros with actual Nike Air branding and not, you know, putting Nike Air on the shoe to create hype for a retro that's coming out in 2015. I just think that that's completely dope. It's a, it's a nice, nice little feature on the shoe that was very unexpected. I mean, this entire shoe is just awesome to me. I mean, there's a couple flaws on it, like right here, it looks like someone dug their fingernail into the actual midsole. Let's see if we can actually get this in focus here but you can kind of see like it looks like someone I mean the quality of the leather is nice but little things like that are just not happening with me that's just disgusting it literally look like it it's someone's fingernail like it fits perfectly it's not my fingernail by any means the midsole is definitely a little bit rough on here but I have really no other complaints on this shoe. It is an awesome colorway. All the colors on here work together, obviously. Obviously, the shoe reminds you of Bugs Bunny. That's the first thing that I think of when I see it. That's why they're called the Hair Sevens. But enough of my rambling on this shoe. Obviously, this shoe came out a couple of months ago, so there's already millions of reviews. It's just I'm getting my hands on it right now. So without wasting any more time, like I say in every video, I don't even know if you guys feel that way. I feel like I'm wasting your time just making a video, honestly. I've obviously... Nah, never mind. Never mind. We're going to see what this pair of shoes looks like on feet. And before I actually do that, I want to tell you guys to actually give my man Chezzy a follow on on YouTube go subscribe to him he's got like a fitness channel he's really trying to put it in he's asking my advice pretty much every single video I personally really enjoy the content if you want to check out here for just a second just have, have a listen it's gonna be right about there I'll put a little clip of what he's all about and we'll, we'll just sit here we'll just watch it first no okay. chase he's a dick <laughs> oh Jason oh so you think I'm a dickhead Chezzy you think I'm so, so, so what, what was this? You sent me this pair of shoes for, for what? Like, I thought, I thought we were friends, bro. You want to call me a dickhead? I'm, I'm here plugging you on my, on my YouTube channel. You want to call me? See, I'm dropping shit now. You got me pissed. You got me fucked up, Shezzy. You got me fucked up. We're going to show you how these look on feet, and then I'm going to come and whoop your ass, man. You're going to get fucked up. Little bitch. Love you, Shezzy.